Surprise, motherfucker. Before we start the video, if you want to enter this month's giveaway on the channel, all you have to do is leave a like in the video down below, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment on the video down below, something relevant to the video, as well as you've liked the video. If you do this on multiple videos, or more videos you do it on, the better chances and odds increase of you winning the giveaway. Good luck. I have never had happen to me what happened in the very start of this video. The, the centipede of zombies, yeah, it, it brought back not very nice thoughts of the human centipede. With all that bullshit aside though, I just wanted to share some round 70 gameplay that I got yesterday on the map Kino de Tote and obviously the remastered version in the Zombie Chronicles DLC and basically the only reason I lasted, well I lasted until 71, you may see that in the gameplay in the background however I think it's only 5 minutes or so and I'll get into my strategy and everything like that but the only reason I actually died is because I was using self medication, I had it on and I had the gobble gum equipped like I had it ready to go in case I went down for a lot of rounds and I went down and I pulled the ray gun out as if I'd actually activated the self medication because let's face it when you go down not Normally, you don't always pull out a ray gun if you didn't have it equipped on you in the first place when you're up. And I got back up, I had no perks, and I only had two guns. So obviously it took all the perks off me, one of my guns because I had mule kick, and it didn't even say it activated as one of the self-medication usages that you get three out of one gun ball. It was just, it was so strange. I think on the new maps at the moment there's a lot of quirks with the gobble gums and overall kind of just little tweaky glitches that may actually screw you over on them higher rounds. So if you're gonna do anything, go for a higher round on Kino de Totem. Aftertaste is the way to go. I'm just saying self-medication isn't 100% reliable, especially if you have it for five rounds already equipped as the gun ball next to use. It might not, it just, it might fail on you. So the strategy that I'm using in the gameplay in the background to get to round 70 or even beyond that, it just depends, this map to be honest, of how much patience you have or how much time you have in your hands. Because let's face it, Revelations is always going to be the quickest map to get to round 100 on, or one of the quickest I should say, because the Apothecary Servant and the amount of fast spawns you have on that map, it's just tailor made, especially with the Ragnaroks, but I mean, it is a good place on Revelations to train in the Kino de Totem area, so you can imagine Kino, you're just running around the stage like you can actually see me doing here, but you don't have the Apothecary Servant, you don't have the Ragnaroks, and that's one of the main things that makes it really hard, Kino de Totem especially, or just slower, because the Ragnaroks and the Apothecary Servant were the like, the best combination in zombies ever. You shot a Apothecary Servant shot or bullet, I don't even really know what to call it, a black hole. It consumed that many zombies that it fully charged your Ragnaroks and then you get about 100 kills if you're in the right spot of fast spawns with the Ragnaroks. So you were just cleaning out rounds, especially even on round 90 within like five minutes. It's absolutely insane. So with that being said, the fact that we don't have the Ragnaroks or the Apothecary Servant, what do you do on this map? Well, the next best thing, the Zeus Cannon, it wants to be one of your guns, but not one you use for training that whole lot because yes, it can kill anything instantly with any shot it fires on any round, but you want it as your safe gun. So say if you get trapped or anything like that, I mean, you'll have Widow's Wine, I'm guessing. If you actually wanted to go for high rounds, you'll probably have a Perkaholic or Unquenchables or whatever to get more than just the four base perks. So if you get in hit, then sometimes the zombies will just slow down or won't be able to hit you again because they're kind of consumed in all these webs and stuff from the Widow's Wine, but just in case you actually do get trapped, let's say that for a circumstance, you want to pull out the Zeus Cannon and just keep firing that thing. So when you're actually training, if you get the hang of it and the patterns of spawns and stuff, or know how to dodge zombies or train and strafe away from them so you don't actually go down yourself, you want two guns that are bought off the wall with Deadwire. The reason for this being mainly is because of the fact like Deadwire in itself is good because when you shoot the zombies, the bullet activates and then the special effect that comes with Deadwire where it electrocutes all the zombies make sure that the zombies can't hit you when going through the process of dying from that said effect. So also at the same time, it's the fastest recharge rate. So you have more of a chance of a bullet activating as a dead wire special effect on the zombies and it comes very frequently as you can see in the gameplay in the background. Pretty much every three shots I'm getting that dead wire effect and it's clearing out up to seven or nine zombies I believe it is, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below, but I believe that's the best way to go because then you can just keep buying ammo, it's acting like a mini wonder wharf if you if you'd like to call it that because it's electrocuting a horde of zombies and it's doing it repeatedly. However, it's not guaranteed in every shot, which is why I recommend using the Zeus Cannon only for them tricky situations, because the effect of that gun, which is basically just Thunderwall constantly, is always guaranteed within every single shot. You don't want to be backed into a corner, trying to rely on Deadwire, because let's face it, it doesn't kill that many zombies. However, the Zeus Cannon isn't limited to how many zombies or Horde kind of amount that it can actually kill with just 
that one shot it obliterates everything and sends everything flying all the time and I recommend when you're training around the stage as well don't actually just train on the stage because you can get trapped from things coming like say for a fact near the teleporter or it's a it's a tighter area use the whole stage and then below it and I'd also recommend running around it anti-clockwise because it's easier the main reason it is easier is because of the fact when you're actually running around the stage you can see what's coming from the other side of the teleporter like where they jump over that kind of I don't know, what, what are the cinema chairs? And also from the window you can see they're going to come up that way, however if you are running around it the opposite way, something might run round from behind the teleporter and trap you, and that's something that you just want to obliterate completely, any chance of going down at all, because like I said, if you're using self-medication, sometimes it doesn't work, or for whatever reason, it may bug your game out or throw you off momentum of actually just training the zombies, subconsciously doing it and obviously doing it good, and then thinking about it because when you think about doing things more it's less natural and then you screw things up and I hate that process so anyways thank you all for watching this video leave a like in the video down below if you enjoy the Zombies Chronicles content or overall content on this channel or want to enter the giveaway like I mentioned at the start of the video and I'll see you in the next one peace